Howdy, Commander. Looking for new gear again? You are right on time. That evil life monster over there is Dagon. Your eyes do not deceive you. It's got six light weapon slots arrayed neatly on both sides of the turret. You can still fire them with the press of one button, of course. But I am just as surprised as you are. Imagine the builds you can run with this thing. Machine guns to rapidly accumulate status effects. Grenade launchers, same logic, constant explosions. An unconventional sniper build if you feel like experimenting. Or a party setup, my personal favorite. I bet the vendor will recommend Trickster and Tamer, no doubt. Both are medium range machine guns. Trickster distributes damage over time, while Tamer applies rust. You can combine them to your taste, depending on what you are up against, or maybe go all in to build your entire tactic around one particular effect. Speaking of tactics, Dagon's ability is pretty simple. The robot has a personal Aegis shield, and when you press the button, the shield starts to regenerate at a faster rate. Dagon also gains additional speed while the ability lasts. I wasn't sure about those legs either, but Evo Life sure know their business. This cuttlefish can be surprisingly swift. Not that I've ever seen a cuttlefish, let alone a walking cuttlefish. Anyway, save the ability for when things get hot, and you won't be disappointed. And things are sure to get red hot eventually. Dagon doesn't have any defense systems apart from its aegis, so it can't hold up under fire for long. And there you have it. A groundbreaking new design, which proves quite straightforward when you start using it. I'll leave you with that. Next time, we might have some deployable turrets to play with, if the rumors are true. Happy hunting, Commander!